I haven't been to Vegas in over a year and the strip is constantly changing. So in this video, we're gonna explore the strip and see what's new and what's changed. I definitely don't remember seeing a huge TV set up here to watch games and everything. It's a great idea, especially when it's a nice day outside. This is perfect. This is definitely all new since the last time I was here. And it's crazy how fast things move on the strip. What's wild is the first time I was ever in Vegas was in 2014. And this entire area, all by the T-Mobile Center and everything, there was nothing here. And now eight years later, this is like a whole other section of the strip. Las Vegas. I've never seen this section of the strip closed. It's completely dark as you can see. So I wonder if they're like tearing it down and updating this entire area. Wow, it looks like it's the same exact thing here as well. I mean, like there's a VR thing here. Now, not so much. I've been in this area before, which is relatively new over the past few years, but this is definitely different how they have this huge alleyway with all these different shops. There's finally a Dunkin' Donuts on the strip. Boston is taking over. This is what's so crazy about the strip is I've been here so many times and even being inside of here, I'm trying to remember, is this new or have I just not been here before? Because that's how many things there are to do on the strip. I've been on the strip exploring over a hundred times and there's still so many things I've not seen yet.
This whole section, if you can hear me, is definitely new. Also, if you've never been to Vegas before, the Mirage always puts on this huge fire show. I gotta say too, looking at all the architecture, I love the kind of unique like home like setups. Like it almost looks like a house that has like a shop or a restaurant in it. So pretty cool. As you can imagine, there's two different sides of the strip, of course. And what's interesting is I've never been on this side of the strip in this exact location. Not just one, but two Dunkin' Donuts. Walked all the way from Tropicana to Resorts World, might as well snack some food. Pretty crazy to say, but last night I walked seven miles on the strip. It's about a five mile walk round trip going from Tropicana to Resorts World. But with all the side segments and random like circuitous routes that I took, it ended up being seven miles. And I just love walking on the strip. It's just so crazy. You know, I think back to 2014, like I said in this video, when I first got to Vegas, first experienced the whole thing. And eight years later, seeing what it's like now, it's just while wow, with all the improvements, it seems like they're constantly tearing down old parts of it, like I showed you, and rebuilding to newer parts, newer sections, adding in more and more stuff almost every month or every year. Like I said earlier, I haven't been in Vegas in about a year. The last time I was here, I was finishing up my album, The Lost Vegas Experience. It took me about three years. I have a link listed below to it if you want to check it out. And it's crazy that just in the past year, it feels like things are a lot bigger, a lot better. They're even building like a big moon dome and everything. There's so much always going on in Vegas and so many improvements happening all the time. Welcome to Las Vegas.